Welcome to the Random Workshop, where four random guys build, refurbish and reinvent random projects. Since we do this on a daily basis, we decided to start a channel and basically showcase what we do. In this video, we are going to refurbish and recoat a frying pan in a non-stick Teflon coating. You can see that this pan has been well used and the non-stick coating is actually lifted in quite a few spots. So the first thing that we need to do is media blast the pan. So we've removed the handle and simply blasted it with 80 grit aluminium oxide powder and taken off all of the coating. So we're right down to the base again. You'll see you always have a little bit of dust and grime left over afterwards. So we just need to make sure we can get rid of all of that before we actually start coating. So the easiest to get rid of the large stuff is just to use an air gun and simply blow the dust and particles off. Okay, once we've done that, just do a inspect, close inspection. You can see there's a couple of spots that haven't lifted, but that's easy. We'll just put that back in the sandblast and get rid of those. And you always need to pay special attention to where the handle joins. You'll see there's this black stuff that's still left there and that's not actually Teflon or coating. It's actually grease and grime uh, from cooking and, and, and that. And uh, you obviously can't clean that because that's in the handle mechanism. So here we're just using a little sharp screwdriver, getting rid of all of that grease and grime. Okay, once that's done, we just need to mask the bottom of the pan. Okay, so we're now going to use a solvent. Here we're just using thinners just to get rid of any of the last grease and grime that's left in the pan and making sure that the surface is ready for our primer. You can use any solvent here, acetone, uh, alcohol, something like that. Quick wipe and the nice thing is it flashes off very very quickly and you're going to be left with a dry clean surface pad. Okay, there we go. It's clean and ready for our base coat or our primer. For this, we're just using a high volume, low pressure spray gun. You can get it in your hardware store. Uh, with a 1.5 millimeter nozzle on it and the trick to this is just build up your primer layer very very gently layer by layer smooth finish now you'll size quite quickly so it goes on as a dark dark gray it becomes lighter and lighter so the pan is totally covered and again it's don't have to go heavy on it as long as you've covered the surface the primer will do its job. Okay and there we go. Our pan has now got its primer on and it's ready for its first bake. Okay, remember we masked the bottom of the pan. We need to take it, the masking tape off, otherwise it's just gonna burn in the oven. Uh, 
done. So using the straight blade, just get a corner or a piece that's sticking out and pull it off gently, trying to get it off in one go. And Josh has left one little piece behind, not a problem. Okay, now our pan is ready for the oven. We use a gas oven. Uh, we found it's a lot more efficient than an, an electric oven and it also heats up very, very quickly and maintains heat very, very easily. Okay, we've got a little access panel in our oven and using a laser thermometer, we can actually monitor the temperature as it goes along. So here you can see it's already at 70 degrees, 71, and at 72, it climbs really, really nice and quickly. Okay, we need it at between 250 and 300 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes just to bake on the primer. It's at 272, right where we need it, and it's been baking for about 10 minutes. And there you go. Nice, even color, no blemishes. The primer came out really, really well. We always just do another inspection before we carry on, just to make sure that we have anything that hasn't bubbled anywhere. But this looks really, really good. So we can now move on to our Teflon or our top coat. Okay, so for the top coat or the Teflon coat, we're going to use exactly the same spray gun that we used, obviously cleaned. And again, slower is better. Just slowly build it up. Now, you'll see the product that we've got has got a purple tip pigment um, that's been added to it. Uh, the reason for this is that you can actually see where you're spraying because otherwise it's going to be black on black and it's quite hard to see where you're spraying. But with the purple pigment, you can see exactly where you're spraying and make sure that you've got an even layer all around the pan. This purple pigment just flashes off in the oven and you'll be left with your black Teflon coating afterwards. Okay, again, we've masked the bottom of the pan. Just need to take that masking off and uh, always better using a straight blade just to get it started. And there we go. Okay, and you can really see just from being out in the, the air, the purple has started lifting in places. It started flashing off, but we know we've got a nice even coating across. Now for the Teflon top coat, we need to get the temperature up to about 400 degrees Celsius. So again, we just keep watching the, the laser thermometer. Um, and get it up to temperature and then it only has to bake for between 5 and 10 minutes. Okay there we go we're almost at 400. We'll leave it to bake for 5 to 10 minutes and it should be done. And there we go. Okay, turn off the gas. Okay, you can see there's no purple pigment left and we left with our nice black shiny surface. Okay, so that was the pan done. Now we're going to refurbish the handle. You'll see this little metal ring that goes on between the handle and the pan. Always fills with grease and grime and it's actually quite hard to clean off. So what we use is a degreaser. We just leave it in the degreaser for a while and that helps lift all of the stuff off of this little metal collar. Okay, 
Okay, so after a while, take it out, just wrap it with a microfiber cloth. And you can see that the, it's starting to lift off the grease and ground. So for the stubborn stuff, we're just going to use a little flap disc. And that really takes the stuff off very, very quickly. So there you can see we've got all the grease and grime off, looking really, really good. So the next thing we do is we just use some metal polish, which is like a rubbing compound, and just give it a final buffing. Okay, and there we go. Looking good. Okay, so all that's left is just to reassemble the pan. And there we go. A refurbished, recoated pan. Looking so much better than it did when it came in. Again, doing a final inspection just to make sure that everything is 100% and that we've got no blemishes. And there's our finished product. And like I said, looking completely different to how it came in. In fact, it looks brand new. The last thing we like to do with the pans that we do, pots and pans that we do, is what we call a water test just to make sure that the Teflon has, been, has got sufficient coverage and that the pan is non-stick. And here you can see the water does not stick anywhere and yes, looking absolutely amazing. So once again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, like and send us your comments.